ஜூன் டுவெண்ட்டி எய்த் டுவெண்ட்டி நைன்டீன் ஐ மெட் அ மெசிவ் ஹார்ட் அட்டாக் ஸ்டேஜ் வரைச்சே டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீனே இருக்கும் டுவெண்ட்டி கூட இருக்கலாம் அப்போ வந்து என்னால் சமையல் ரூம்லேருந்து பெட்ரூம் கூட போக முடியல I used to go in my basement and cry for hours. What is this going to be like? Is it thus how I am going to be all my life? I also developed wheezing around the same time. Asthma kept getting worse. Uh, so through my teenage years, I uh, really couldn't push. I couldn't run more than 100 meters. Towards the end of, I think, high school is when things change. Typical with any uh, Indian family where you focus then on studies. And at that time, I was very unhealthy. and had lower back pain issues every day was a miserable day and for me i could never go on to the bridge and that was something that was just like i don't want to go on to the bridge someday i don't know if i'll ever do it though and i thought let me do something so drastic and i remember telling to myself that let me shoot for the stars My name is Manindra Bhogal. I turned 56 last month. I have been living in South Bandik for 25 plus years. My symptoms were slightly weird. It was at the lower the back left shoulder back shoulder blade. So I thought some muscle pull let me go to my doctor and uh, that was me thinking rationally. Other side the Punjabi side of my Sardar side of mine was thinking oh it's uh, hunger so you need go home make some omelet and have a paratha and you should be fine. Had I taken a right turn over the paratha Prathe Valley gali I would have been in a photo frame today. but i thought okay let me go to the doctor take a muscle relaxant doctor told me what happened to me it's a very dangerous heart attack he called uh, lad it's uh, it's also in a layman's language known as widow maker and after that uh, i don't know how much <laughs> how much i cried and how much it took me to come back i don't want to be the person who is just sitting and uh, being pitiable i want to come back stronger from whatever happened to me i didn't know how to spell marathon how to do marathon but i pledge to myself i'll just do a marathon my name is sujaya ragunath i'm training for uh, new york city full marathon that will be my fifth marathon we were all of us reaching our milestone birthday and i said how, how about you know as classmates let's go to go on a hike and i thought machu picchu but of course bala being bala came back and said think big and he arranged the kilimanjaro trek and that was our first uh, the big trek that i've i've done we were in the slowest uh, group but even in that group i was struggling because of wheezing the summit night is considered to be the toughest of course but the guide who was our our lead guide for our group he uh, kind of estimated how each one would do and their uh, their their philosophy is always safety first right they want to make sure that you get back to where you came from alive so uh, they kind of give a percentage or a percentage success that you know somebody has of making it to the top and i later came to know that i didn't have such a you know great number of course we did all of us in our group made it to the top but knowing that and knowing that uh, that somebody graded me uh, i think irked me so i had to come back and do something about it so i feel fitter and do better in the next hike so i enjoy it more too right and i kamla shankaran in a bib number 180 இது வந்து என்னுடைய ஃபோர்த் ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஃபைக்கு அண்ட் தென் டென் கே தேர்ட் டைம் டூ தௌசண்ட் செ செவன்டீனில் எனக்கு முட்டி வெளி வந்தது ஏதோ இன்ஜெக்ஷன் கொடுத்தார் அப்படியே விட்டு ஆப்ரேஷன் பண்ணிக்க அவன் டபாக்கு வந்து தான் பார்த்தேன் ஏன்னா பயமாக இருந்த ரெண்டு மூணு பேர் எனக்கு சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லாக ஆகலை பார்த்துட்டு ஒரு பயம் இருந்தது அப்புறம் இங்கே வந்து நடக்க முடியலன்னு நமக்கு ஆப்ரேஷன் தான் ஒரு வழி அப்படின்னு தோணிது அப்புறம் அங்கே போய் ஆப்ரேஷனுக்கு இது பண்ணோம் ரெண்டு முட்டியும் சேர்த்து தான் ஆப்ரேஷன் பண்ணேன் பட் வந்து எங்கள் ஃபிசியோதெரபிஸ்ட்னால் வாக்கரை விட்டுட்டு நடக்க பண்ண முடியும் உங்களால் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக நடக்க ஆரம்பித்தேன் டாக்டர்ட்டு பேர் கன்சல்டேஷன் போகணும் அப்போ அவர் சொன்னார் நீங்கள் வந்து ஒரு நாளைக்கு த்ரீ கிலோமீட்டர்ஸ் கட்டாக நடக்கணும் அப்படி தான் உங்களுக்கு இது சரியாகும் அப்போ பாலாஜி வந்து மேரத்தெல்லாம் போய் ஒரு ஆர்ஹெச்டபிள்யூபின்னு ஒரு அமைப்பு இருந்தது அதில் வந்து நீ ஏமா ஜாயின் பண்ணிக்கூடாதா அப்படின்னு கூட்டின்னு வந்தா மை நேம் இஸ் பாலா 
if you had met me 15 years ago, I was very unhealthy, extremely overweight, and had lower back pain issues. Every day was a miserable day. That's how it was. And I thought, let me do something so drastic without even knowing how to run a couple of steps. I actually signed up for a half marathon. Uh, and then I started running, and then it was like with many runners, it was a disaster. And those days, I didn't have a coach, Bala, to coach me. So I was just doing it myself, just winging it, where I tried every possible uh, things that was out there, made all the possible mistakes that one can make in running, um, had all the pain that one can have, the little bit of uh, uh, injury, breaks, extreme cold, and I will run alone in the darkness. And I was not a good runner, I was a horrible runner. Finished my half marathons. As I was going through it, I realized that I'm not improving. I'm just doing the same thing again and again. The same pain is there. There must be some method to this madness. And that's how I got introduced to my coach. And uh, she basically taught me that uh, long distance running is science and an art. Uh, and what I did was just art. The next couple of years, she put me in a path of structured long distance training. She actually put me in a path of a thought process that was there in, within me that this actually is a character building exercise. So if you think about the early beginnings of Runner's High, here I was, I know it's a character building exercise that I feel very good about. I have this natural ability to teach and I have this honed ability to spread happiness around by finding strengths. Uh, so th it was bubbling. This, these three themes are bubbling in my life. One of my uh, neighbors said that, hey, you seem to be pick some people from our own community and just train them to do some 5K, just so that they get coached, so that they're out of the house kind of a story. And that is the time I was thinking about my own daughter too. I'm Disha. And I'm Ganam. Uh, and we're doing a half marathon. We're feeling good today, a little bit nervous, but excited. Yeah. I was eight when I started to run. And it started just because Appa noticed that all of the kids especially the girls um, in our group, didn't really have any sports exactly. And we were all kind of just watching TV all the time. And it just started because one auntie in the neighborhood, she w she asked Bala Uncle, hey, can you take my kid with you? Bala Uncle was like, oh, this is a great idea. I'm going to make all of the kids run, right? Hi, this is Sriram. I'm on my season seven. I'm a half marathoner. Growing up, my primary activity in terms of any kind of physical activity was swimming. I think towards the end of, I think, high school is when things change, typical with any Indian family where you focus then on studies. And that's how uh, it was probably until the age of 40 when, uh, uh, when I was again introduced to them. This is Coach Sushma here, I'm running for half a marathon. And this is my season seven. Up until elementary, I used to enjoy running before. Um, same story, uh, due to studies and career, um, I stopped running and um, very minimal activities. During the pandemic, we got into RHWB and then the running uh, journey started. I'm Rahul. I'm running a 5K speed. This is my seventh season. Due to the pandemic and seeing Upper Auntie and Shades and Uncle run, I was interested in running specifically because I saw Science and also interested in it. So we both decided to think of running and we decided to try half marathons for our first season. I've tried uh, couch to 5k a few times that uh, I don't think I've ever uh, gone past half a mile or a mile beyond that. When I first started running, I admittedly thought it would be easier than it was because I was surrounded by Appa who was easily doing 10 miles or not maybe easily but was able to do 10 miles. When we ran like our first mile we were we were sweating we were dying we were like I can't do this anymore. I almost thought I would call 911 to I thought I had a heart attack kind of a scenario in my first run. Every muscle of uh, my body is to pain after going through a half a mile run. That first mile and that like the walk back to the car was just so scary for me. It took so many weeks for me to even get to three months. But I not balance balance I started bringing, uh, I don't know, artificial resistance in myself that, hey, why do I have to spend some, some money on shoes now? What are the things? Okay, what if I have to travel and go to work? So there are always things that stop me from doing. I remember there was a point for me, like a mental barrier almost, 
where after the first mile like point i guess there was a bridge after that first mile and after like you got to 1.5 on that trail and you turned back that's when you would be finished 3 miles and for me i could never go onto the bridge and that was something that was just like i didn't want to go onto the bridge someday i don't know if i'll ever do it though when i uh, started socializing that i'm going to run half marathon oh i got a lot of reluctance from all everywhere even from my family also oh that is suicidal you shouldn't do that my husband dedicated so that i'm kala vai sache me wo wo do padna pe mai first few runs where it made me feel so weak and it's like like do i even have any muscle on my body there's no way i'm not doing this again next season i think stay away from negativity the second thing is uh, you need to find your why there could be 99 reasons not to do a thing and just you need to find one reason why you should do it appa balaj na or stick question nada easy a irukuna combination and appra or conflict vandade fulla nadande very interesting a nadande namak nadakkanu ngara or idilla ena kadasi vayasu irukku nadandirunda namba life edu pannunta akrama muketta kodukka sir i don't think you you start to see what are the reasons why you don't want to do things having looked at folks who had a much a busier life were still able to do it and that's what he motivated us to try it on the experience is what strengthens you once you get like even one minute better in your pace you're like wow i can actually do good in this so that's when you get the motivation like i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna get better whenever you reach that those 3 miles or whatever bear, like big thing is holding you back it's one of the best experiences in the world because i was so happy when i finally did 3 miles this is in the winter of 2018 is when we started and then there were days when there was it snowed out completely snowed out so we went to an indoor track and ran because they wanted to run they didn't want to stop nine ten kids indoor track of just 0.1 miles and they have to do like 5 miles so they will run like 50 rounds we wanted to make sure that rahul was always somewhere in the vicinity is where we could see him he was just 9 years old i used to bike behind him make sure that there are no traffic and uh, it is safer for him to cross bala and a uh, group from new jersey who came to uh, who came to boston and then we went to a trail here what rahul asked at that time was hey we can he can go as well uh, that was a discovery for us to realize that uh, he was able to run much faster than us and probably one of the good runners in the group uh, the baby bird we are letting him fly off so something something like that uh, i would say and after this experience i became better at it and it became much more fun for me magic was happening synergy was happening we knew this so we finished that season with a very glorious uh, sort of uh, achievement that all of these kids completed a distance that was here to for unimaginable by them 5 years later i've done nine half marathons We didn't expect that we would turn out to be half marathoners and I was really happy because I was not expecting to get sub 2 on my first marathon and I feel like after that breakthrough I thought anything is possible one they are seeing their own kids do some impossible things this is where it the early days of okay if this has worked for kids maybe it can work for my friends too for the first couple of seasons it was just our own four uh, roads in our community remington tamarack golf and uh, south uh, field so this running club was just called rtgs club ladies led the show the proportion of uh, runners who were women probably was 70 75% women no once they their heart is in that place then you can't stop them they were just you know fighting one on one with me on passion all the women on those days were all five auto runners Five out of you know, as you know, like we measure their runners, how well they do a season. Five out of two means they have not missed anything. Everybody had pain, everybody had this, but they were reinventing their youth. They all found me time. First time they were doing something just for themselves, not thinking about their kids or husband or whatever. Before the running club, my mom did all of the work, and I feel like she would get so tired out. She wouldn't have any time for herself. Like now, she can strictly say like, "Hey, don't talk to me. Don't tell me anything. I'm gonna go run. Until then, you like." not interact with me and i'm so happy for her i feel like finally like she's learning how to take a break and not like burn out with work and their health improved dramatically so all of this came together in season 4 we I, at least we realized that okay there's something that is 
going on here we, why not improve the increase the impact to everybody else that's when i got in when bala said come just try this half marathon program no big deal um so i registered for half a marathon not thinking much my only aim was okay try to aim for half i can at least do the 10k and then what changed was when when they started providing me that confidence that your, your session is not going to be that you're going to run a half marathon next week it's going to be a structured program where you have 16 weeks to prepare as we move through this uh, journey various assumptions we had to challenge why should a kid not run you know a 10k or a 5k that we had a 5 year old running a f- with joy we didn't even think about it on the other end of the spectrum we wanted to see what can we challenge on the senior citizen side of things so we designed a small program just for my mom and her sister doctor san ninde idu vechu conversion pannakudadu inime appdi solta something woke up from inside vanna venga oru nakku nenik thoni indilla she started losing weight she must have lost 40 pounds she is a fight out walker adukapperna kambillama anga 10k panna aarambicha she is the nucleus for our masters program it started off with getting our senior citizens to walk to now they have a community of fellow master citizens and a feeling of pride that they are part of a larger community going and the race day and getting their medals and they are happy the only things i have done in the past probably as together were probably going to a restaurant going to a movie and going to different places the time spent per day with kids kids go to school college they have their own life and it's normal to say that you know enjoy the time with your kids or with your family in the first 15 years of a of a kid after that life takes over the reason why this drop which is inevitable will happen is that there are not many common things to do together doing something together that is when the bonding takes place if a family could do running together weekends now we have something to look forward to like saturday is when we do our long run so i think that has become like a religion right now so his parents also join as part of this group and they are part of the masters too running comes with a lot of vocabulary a lot of common content that transcends age transcends uh, everything all this amazing time spent running by yourself and together has made both of you a much better happier person by yourself and together and i feel like it has really made us in total a a better family even finishing my first half a marathon it is still stuck to my eyes now oh my god i didn't i couldn't believe that i actually managed to finish a half marathon at this age i did not expect to even do endurance running given the fact that i had asthma most of my life and how did i get here and i was literally crying and telling him i did it adar perume adu thana fun fun 5k panirukona be I remember first season some six or seven kids. Second season about twenty-five or so, uh, including kids and adults. Third season was about fifty to sixty uh, runners were there. Parents, parents, friends was the third season. So those days the restriction was very simple. Madhvi has to say yes. She knew the amount of effort we are putting in, or I was putting in per runner. She didn't want some random people joining and just after two weeks not even listening to what I'm saying and then wasted my time. Uh, and she also saw that as instead of that person, if somebody else we could have driven impact. That is how it was for the three four seasons. Fourth season went to about 150, and I am still the single coach. So for context, today we don't allow. any coach to go more than 40 runners and for that to happen we needed more coaches so we first got our first set of 3 or 4 coaches bala's coach is ordinary people doing extraordinary things so that's what i believe very strongly in that so that's what come back stronger from setbacks sitting in icu and trying to get to runner from a runner i became a coach i don't know how coach bala does it but i thought okay first season coaching he's going to get just give us like 10 coaches or whatever five of us volunteered at that time to uh, start coaching and i thought he'll give us like 10 no nope. he gave us 40 per people uh, you know runners to coach the very first season so now we had four coaches including myself and we went from 150 to some 250 folks boom straight away and uh, initially it was a little overwhelming and how uh, but then i think i learned to um, be more organized 
and figure figured out how to go about uh, you know analyzing everyone getting to know each runner and and uh, starting to communicate with them uh, so that was the the next uh, increase we have about 20 coaches right now all of them are our ca certified coaches so they are a coach in their own right uh, technically speaking they can have their own setup uh, that's what they are licensed to do I, we, I used to do the handle all the um, admin uh, along with Madhavi. She had a questionnaire which she would very strictly take. So in four years, handling admissions, telling people no, this is not for you, or saying yes, this is for you. You can do more than a 5K, you can do more than a 10K. And um, getting their um, health records straightened out. Once she went through all that, she would pass them to me, then I would send the waiver. This is one night, I remember, there were 643 emails exchanged back and forth between me and people. The tech team said, this is it, we are going to take over. And we went from uh, Stone Age to, uh, you know, Space Age, as we say. I was actually uh, trying to look for a video that you posted in WhatsApp, and I spent uh, nearly 30 minutes uh, trying to look for the video. I'm a technologist uh, by heart. We decided to uh, build a website, at least a place where people can go and look for content, uh, running related content. We started with the website, but then the registration, even the you know the, the shopping cart that we needed for the, the t-shirts and you know, because now, now we are dealing with almost a thousand runners. So when that happened, we went into this franchisee kind of a thought process. So we said, okay, instead of just shooting for runners high, Let's shoot for coaches. The coaches are also, I think each of them like are dealing with the 40 or 50 runners. That is also a complex uh, thing. And so in that aspect also, the technology is being quite useful. When they did their coaching over the season, it was just coaching. But then a race day gets over and then somebody writes an email to them or somebody comes to the race day and gives them a hug for five minutes. This coaching gives me an opportunity to give back. It's like a reflection. So someone looks at me who has gone through this similar journey and if she can accomplish it, why can't I do it? And this season was very special for me. The Chicago Marathon, four of my runners in my cohort were running, all four were women. When they call me, you know, after they've finished, it's one of the highlights, I think, in my life so far. Oh my God, look at the medal. Oh wow, I love it. What a medal. Well deserved, well deserved. You all did great and looking fabulous. We love you. I love you too. You guys are awesome. You all did fantastic. Congrats on Chicago. So cute. They all did so well, you know, training. Everyone had problems like, uh, uh, like the, uh, some injury, something, right? I mean, all women, responsibilities. And the fact that they pushed through all of that is just amazing. So proud of them. And this is my first time uh, training full marathoners, you know, so I'm like very, very, very happy. <laughs> so that's how we found the coaches magic, where we said, and then by which time, coaches also became very, very good friends with each other. We realized that a part of Runner's High is also about finding amazing human beings and creating a network of amazing human beings. Giving something to others, not expecting anything in return. Like you just do it because you just want to do it. You don't even give a damn if anybody else has noticed you giving. That is a platinum standard of giving. And I'm very lucky to say that over the seasons, Runners High has attracted more and more such amazing human beings. For the record, I have to say, it's a purely volunteer organization. There are so many people that like are involved in the whole race day to make it happen. Some person in our last race did, they genuinely like went up to the uh, trail, moved a branch because they thought it would block the runners. And he, yeah, with the whole chainsaw. chainsaw. Early on, we actually lost a lot more uh, dollars than what came in. We actually put money from our own pocket um, to sort of sustain this. At the end of the day, it's an organization that has some running costs. No matter what my role is as a CFO for this company, whatever nickels and pennies we are collecting from the runners, I want to make sure that each and every nickel is utilized for giving all the runners the support, the comfort, the training, whatever they are looking for. And that is how I am putting my uh, profit and loss, it's not only about money, but it is about the value or the worth of it, what you're getting out of it. The couple of themes that 
that emerged is this is not about making money. This is about driving impact. And impact is priceless. Every time you look at a, at a medal, it, the only thing you're getting out of it is inspiration for the next thing that you're going to write. And then uh, right away I signed up my uh, full marathon as soon as I finished my half last year in November itself because I, I wanted to uh, do this. And I am looking forward to running the New York Marathon. Many RHWB runners are running this. It's going to be special. I did another half marathon last year, October, to qualify for TCS uh, New York City Marathon, which is happening on November 5th. And that will basically make my ICU2 marathon dream come true because this is the first major I'm going to run. Now I'm the 10K and I'm going to run the 10K. And what you want to do, I'm confident that I'm going to come to you. I'm going to be feeling good. We had our 18th wedding anniversary. And then I wanted to do a full, to just push myself and take up the challenge. So I know high mileage works, but committing that kind of time is very, very tough. But thanks to my family for supporting me through that. I am in that season right now. So normal uh, marathon plan, beginner plan, I think goes up to like 500 miles. High mileage plan goes to 700 miles in one season. It's going very well for me in terms of where I started, where I've improved. Like she's my running partner. Yeah. We slow down for each other, we'll pace each other, we'll help each other when we need to. We can yeah. depend on each other. She still gets paid when I'm on the phone. I'm going to get to the chance. 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 Two days before uh, the actual race, Sriram just offered, uh, why don't I run with you together so that uh, it will give you confidence and also it will be a nice thing to spend our anniversary together. Since last two seasons, I'm operating as a race director where uh, me and Arvind are managing the complete race day experience. There are multiple things that we have to cover, making sure the, the park registration, uh, the permits are, are there, and finally, uh, 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 crossing guards, uh, we want to provide them the all kind of service and amenities at any, any utmost runner uh, who is running a marathon at a professional race. You prepare, there are certain things that you know are going to happen, but there are always unknown unknowns. So I think I've strained my uh, thigh muscle from just this part from running. I think my body is just begging for rest. So I'm going to chill and see how it goes and hope that all the effort I put in the past few months show up on race day and that I will actually be able to run. Right from when they check in, do the stretching, do Zumba dance to stretch their muscles and get ready for run and finally they are flagged off. It was actually uh, a rainy day um, so it be poured for two hours and we started uh, running uh, in the pouring rain. And she had probably not prepared for a full marathon with me either, right? But, but it turned out to be one of the most beautiful and memorable experience. Close to 80% effort on the planning, 20% is what the execution is, right from water to goodies and everything, including uh, providing uh, instant massage uh, uh, at, at a pit stop in case they have muscle a pull or something like that. And I'm not going to do pace anyway. I'm just like, take it easy and go this to finish the race. That's it. surreal experience while running in the nature, feeling the wind, looking at all of the trees. It was beautiful. First 10K program is Sandosh Manasan. But you can guide me. So it's a very familiar place. We know the ins and outs. We know where the bridge is. We know everything about this place. 
So it's very comforting to see so many people experiencing this feeling for the first time. It was a great happening. Apro mai Sudha and the Shabankla is always a party with me. So I very enjoyed this year. Six point two months. It is just so inspiring to see hundreds of people come out uh, for one cause of just running and reaching your inner potential uh, for your mind, body, spirit, making sure that people from all different ages, from the youth all the way to masters, which is senior citizens too, uh, are motivated to just improve their health, improve their mind through running. The entire uh, mile zero to all the way to 26 mile uh, con two. So we finished together. I mean, that is something phenomenal, the way that we spend that day together. It always uh, spills into other things and you're only going to do better in other things because of what you've already accomplished here. I, I finished the race and then our coach Indu just called my name. I could not um, hold my emotion and then I was just um, hugging her and then I, I just burst off. I did it. I am so happy because even the injury, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. The first part was okay, but you know, it started bothering me after like around mile seven or so onwards. The, you know, think, but it, it was great to see you guys after that tough Queensboro Bridge. And then even further down, more people from RHWB. So the RHWB support was amazing. That was one thing. And then New York. The entire 26 miles with amazing crowd support. And then I finally ran into Sapna. Both of us were dealing with my leg pain, my cramps. So it took me walk run, walk run, walk run, and we managed to finish. It was a very, very tough course. Very hot too initially. But I can't believe, no, I, I got it. So huge thanks to Bala again for setting me on this journey. I never thought this was possible. And look at me now. I mean, finished New York Marathon is so special. Um, and another uh, uh, big thanks to my coach, Shari, because uh, despite the injury, everything, he gave me the confidence um, to go for it. From 24 to 25th mile, I saw him doing it. When I was struggling to run, that gave me another last boost. Like, just keep running to the finish. Yeah, I'm very sad that I couldn't get to see Milan Soven on the course. That's my only regret. But otherwise, this is a spectacular, amazing achievement for me. This is something I can't believe I have it. Because this is close to my heart. This is a dream which I saw on June 21st, 3 a.m. in the morning when I was in I see you. This is because of Bala and the whole support group. People who are asked to be confined to your perimeter of the house, they can run up. New York City, major marriage. Let's not worry about timing. Because, 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 the good thing is, I did not give up. Zach, resilience. Zach. Same Zach. Handy. I had multiple cramps. I said, no way, this is what it is. Every time I cannot just uh, let cramps take over. Amazing experience. And whenever you feel like down in New York City, Oh my God, people like little kids, they are cheering up like, and the whole energy comes back. Thank you to lots of folks, lots of volunteers, my dear wife, and thank you Bala for creating this energy, man. I love you. For me, I think you are kind of a god to me. You made my Exactly. Okay. I've known Bala from high school. Highly energetic, um, you know, always positive. And I had no idea, you know, that he had a brother with such a debilitating um, disease. He had this, uh, this uh, situation where his muscular faculty was slowly coming down. That is what his disease was. So he knew what he had a month ago, he doesn't have it today. And uh, you know, as as days pass by, he could not uh, he could not walk, he could not stand, he could not sit, and then after a point of time, passed away. When you go through something so uh, moving at such an early age, you know, to see somebody day in and day out, you know, uh, struggle and uh, yet be so positive, you know, I think that. Uh, 
definitely impacted uh, who Bala is and you know his whole family. Agar unnu unnu kasta manda ukara kuda abinga ande avana ukaram kadam budinja the hindi mudi la. Then adhile or tanam bi kordna erpa. There was not a single day where uh, he was uh, feeling low or he was feeling that he got a, ba a bad deal from the Almighty. Never. That inspired me, laid a very indelible mark on me. That is, happiness is a choice. But what it taught me is, you need to enjoy what you have, especially health. Health is such a fleeting thing. All of us will go through a time when health will desert us. It's just a matter of when. It is not a matter of whether. It will happen. So right now, you got to uh, act as if. Today is the last day you are having that. Then you will enjoy what a beauty running gives you or any activity, physical activity gives you. Larry, na labriya baag apke na abdi na rakto ni. Un piniya kudumatte pasam baat chhil kama. Yenge chinnne kudumatlinde. Un nariya piniya kuda na payin oray pil teriya ma. Ellaro ni idhi pani. Ellari brothers na nche oray brother ni hunda kudum na inge. Inne pana yenge piranje life le na kadhi kadhi na masandosh ma apke. ஏன் பேரோடு பழகிண்டு அப்பெல்லாம் ஒரே சின்னது நம்ம குடும்பம் நம்ம கதலை அப்படின்னு நினச்சிட்டு இருந்தோமே இப்போ அதனால இவ்வளோ பேர் நஷ்டம் சந்தோஷத்தில் நம்மளும் ஒரு பார்த்து எடுத்துக்கிறோம் ஒரு திருப்தியாக இருக்கு எனக்கு மை வாய் இஸ் இஃப் ஐ கேன் ஸ்ப்ரெட் ஹாப்பினஸ் வித் ரன்னிங் எஸ் எ மீடியம் இஃப் ஐ கேன் கனெக்ட் ஹாப்பி பீப்புள் டுகெதர் இஃப் ஐ கேன் மேக் ஹாப்பினஸ் அஸ் அ கோல் ஃபார் எவ்ரி டே லைஃப் தென் எவ்ரி திங் எல்ஸ் வில் ஃபால் இன் டு பிளேஸ் எவ்ரி திங் எல்ஸ் வில் ஃபால் இன் டு பிளேஸ் while scale is not something that we we thought of but scale is happening with scale many interesting things that here to four would have been not possible can be achieved so one portion of that is let's have 100 coaches 100 coaches means so many more runners how about we go to india go to a village adopt all the kids of that village give them a garmin watch make them a runner and take them to mumbai marathon what is the impact we can have for that village so we have a long way to go at least we have a dream let's see where it goes if i had to describe this in one word it is inspiring life changing two word but like you know that is what i can pick up right now inspiring life changing is that this my life accelerating wow oh. <laughs> community building life altering blessing for me rswb stands for community uh i would say perseverance awesome one word would be commitment motivating game changer dreams come true tree opportunity it's just life changing sorry that's what comes in my mind i'm so thankful to be here heartiness and healthiness enthusiasm also awesome. hi bala for me it is bala bala ko encouragement kya yeah. dedication accelerating stubbornness fun i can do it passion ellar ye healthy aakano gro enna thodra addicting one word selfless service fantastic life changing in which all people from child children to old age no word oh that's a great question one word ah huh? yeah. i think it is dedication very happy organization incredible fun fun family amazing family it's family Feels 
Smile on my 